going on guys crypto renegade again here for you and today i'm going to be talking about a very undervalued low cap but high potential coin called ring ring is the native token of the darwinian network which is also a crucial part of the polka dot ecosystem but before i jump into the content i just updated my new free ebook on the seven best ways to secure your crypto updated for 2021 it's 100 percent free so check that out in the description below and i will also pin it in the comments all right let's get started you can wait at that table and someone will be here sometime but aren't you here now no. All right, guys, welcome back. So in our last video, we talked about the future of Polkadot and its impacts on the crypto ecosystem. Today, I'm continuing again the series of Polka projects, which includes all of the current projects in active development in the Polkadot realm. This is actually very exciting because there are a lot of projects that we're gonna be covering here over the next few weeks. So stay tuned and subscribe because some of these projects can make you lots of money very quickly if you play your cards right. So let's talk about Ring, what it is, what it does, and what is Darwinia. Darwinian Network is a decentralized cross-chain bridge network building on Substrate which is the Golden Gate Bridge of the cross-chain ecology. It provides the safest general bridge solution connecting Polkadot, Ethereum, Tron, and other heterogeneous chains by cross-chain assets transfer and general remote chain call. Also, its main application areas include DeFi, cross-chain NFT trading markets, games, and more. Darwinian Network has won a high reputation and recognition along the way to build the decentralized cross-chain bridge protocol. Darwinian Network is a Polkadot-based and substrate-built blockchain network. It enables cross-chain token technology by powering up the transfer of assets, including NFTs, as well as decentralized exchanges across different blockchains. It will later become a parachain of the Polkadot ecosystem. However, it can also function in solo mode if needed. The network is fueled by decentralized bridges and backing technology in order to support the expansion of the token network. The major applications of the system are mainly focused on the gaming and DeFi space. The Darwinian network is powered by a proof of stake algorithm or POS. Furthermore, it features layered networks in application-oriented design and places a special focus on UX or user experience. Let's talk about Darwinia assets. Darwinia houses two tokens in its chain, Ring and Katon. However, they are technically not in a peer relationship since Katon is nearly a byproduct of Ring. While these tokens are native to the Darwinia network, some Rings and Katons also run on Ethereum and Tron blockchains as ERC20 and TRC20 tokens respectively. First is Ring. Ring is Darwinia's main utility token and is used to facilitate activities on the network. It is primarily utilized as a gas payment for transactions, contract executions, network bandwidth, storage, etc. across the entire system. Ring's economic model is inflationary with new tokens minted and allocated via a staking mechanism. Secondly, there's Katon. Katon is technically a derivative of Ring tokens. Wherever a Ring is staked for 3 to 36 months, Katons are generated as rewards and compensation for liquidity loss. This encourages users to hodl and commit to long-term lock periods. The Katon each staker receives is proportional to the Ring staked as well as its duration. The Katon token is designed based on the theory that future commitment or how long one promises to hold a token in the future should be the best practice when operating under a proof of stake mechanism. So how does this all work? Well. Ring is the native tokens for Darwinia network. It can be used as gas to pay for transaction fees, contract executions, as we talked about before. The Darwinia network will distribute rings as an incentive for contributing to the network security through staking. Users that stake their ring for three to 36 months will also be eligible to receive Darwinia's second token, Katon, as a reward. So let's talk about bridge, swap, and cross-chain games and NFT. When we talk about Darwinia, we say that it is a decentralized, heterogeneous, cross-chain bridge protocol developed using Substrate. 
focused on decentralized cross-chain token swap, exchange, and the market. What they do is a cross-chain application hub that provides application interoperability and asset cross-chain functions for blockchain applications in games and the DeFi sector. Darwinia aims to build an internet of tokens and is creating the infrastructure for it right now. Developing Bridge, Darwinia's creators chose a non-custodial model in contrast from a custodian model where the whole process depends on intermediary trust which is centralized or semi-centralized. A non-custodial model offers less trust and more truth. When a user sends assets from Darwinia to another chain, the assets are locked in on the original chain Darwinia. That is performed with a backing contract of Darwinia and no middleman needed. Locking operation is under complete trustless control. So let's talk about Darwinia and Polkadot. Polkadot and Substrate Framework was chosen for building Darwinia because of its strong underlying support and security guarantees. Not only that, extensive open source community and reliable partners all within the ecosystem. Darwinia Network will become Polkadot's parachain. Meanwhile, Darwinia Network can work in two models as a parachain and as a solo chain. In a parachain mode, the original validators and staking mechanisms will be used to ensure local consensus within the Darwinia network, which will help achieve faster block confirmations, higher TPS, while the cross-chain security of the parachains will be guaranteed by the validators of the Polkadot relay chain. In solo mode, Darwinia network can operate as an independent public chain network and is responsible for its own consensus security. Wrapping this up, Darwinia is making the migration and usage of NFT and gaming assets convenient and profitable across multiple blockchains. It's likely to open a new chapter in the cross-chain asset transfer, as well as safeguard the blockchains against isolation. Watch, it will pay. I, I may have been early, but I'm not wrong. The security guarantees and functionality enhancement for Darwinia are provided by the wider network. Darwinia is still developing its functionality and its mainnet and is slated to launch by Q3 2021 as it was slightly delayed. All right, what do you guys think? Are you gonna take a look at accumulating some ring? If not, are you gonna try to now that you know it's part of Polkadot's very lucrative ecosystem? Let me know down in the comments below uh, what you think or if you're as maybe conflicted as I am as if this is the right chain for you. And then go ahead and click right here to watch my video on why Polkadot will be over $1,000 soon and gives a framework of what we talked about. See you guys in that video. Crypto Renegade out.